So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is tagging somebody in a note or post or in status and how it can help grow your business fan page through Facebook. In order to tag somebody, you must already be a friend of them or you must already like uh, that business or that product. You can also tag events in a note as well or your status. So you can let them know what you're doing, um, you know, that you're heading to such and such event and it's tagging there. All right, so in order to tag something, you're going to have to hit the at sign, and then you're going to start typing whatever it is. So if I started typing Detroit, it's going to bring up everything that I'm a fan of that has the name Detroit. The more specific, let's say if I typed in Detroit Pistons, it brings up all the things that have the Detroit Pistons. That goes for people's names, events, things like that. So let's think of something. Uh, let's say uh, I had a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's just even make it better and say I had a great one-on-one -on -one with Key Stonehouse. Now, see it brought two keys down, so I'm going to pick which Keith I had the one-on-one -on -one with. And then I'm going to put his business in there which is Franklin Title Agency and then we had the uh, now we put the name of the restaurant so I put at but then I had to put the at sign okay so I start typing in Rochester now where in Rochester and what so uh, Rochester Mills Beer Company And then we talked about our charity event we are having at Fieldstone Winery. Okay, and then you can also list, you know, the charity or whatever. So I tagged four things in here. I believe you uh, can tag up to six things in a note or status and then when I hit share what's exciting about this is we hit Keystone House this is his personal page there bizmatch connect and then I have all the different other things that I tagged in here so anybody that goes to his page is gonna see my fan page and people are gonna say wow it's bizmatch connect and what are Keith, what's Keith doing with him and now if you notice Keith he has over 4500 friends so when Keith comments this or status you know likes it it's gonna show up on his newsfeed and all his friends are gonna see that now if we click the Rochester Mills Brewing Company look at that first thing right there it's gonna have my fan page so anybody that comes here out of the 452 fans that they have it's going to show uh, my business and my business fan page and then Fieldstone Winery when we click on that it already has one that I posted earlier about them and then all their friends and fans of the 669 will also see mine as well and they're gonna be hopefully curious and want to go to my fan page and see what it's about now make sure that you are posting we're going to remove this post but make sure that you're posting things that people are going to want to interact with because right here how I put you know um, check out the funky frog in downtown Rochester people are already liking it and commenting on it hopefully soon uh, to, so that we get them interacting don't just post selling 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 things because people are going to hide you and when you have something very important that you want to share with them they're not gonna know because they hid you because you're constantly selling to them or they're gonna you know unlike you just like uh, if you have friends that constantly put things up about their game scores or their farm bill and then you hide them when they actually have to put something on their wall that's important to them uh, and that you might be interested in you're not gonna see it because you hid them so you know get people interacting get people talking and you know start tagging people and and things that you want your fan page to be seen on I hope that helps and you know give it a try and you can do that in any situation with your personal page or your business page